and Larks. Today, exciting day, we're going um, to the Efteling first, which is over there. Ta da! Efteling with the, with the handsome male. And um, we're gonna stay here for a few hours because uh, we have a um, year round entrance thingy. Um, what do you call it in English? I'm having a big brain fart, but um, yeah, we just have a, a car so we can get in and um, we're just gonna stay here for a few hours. And after that, we're going to the movies because that awesome guy you just saw, he won tickets to see the Justice League for free. Yay! And we're gonna get some nice little pressies as well. So we're gonna make this uh, a nice and awesome little day. So yeah, I'm totally excited. Are you excited? Yay! <laughs> we're excited. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this amazing amusement park, this um, the Efteling, which is, uh, in my opinion, the best amusement park in the Netherlands, by far. And luckily for us, it's only just like 25 minutes from our house. So it's really close and um, yeah I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what the park looks like show you it's amazing magic like something like that <laughs> yeah it's just really an amazing park and I'm sure you'll agree when you see uh, the footage that I'm going to make today so yeah I hope you enjoy So we just entered the park and we are actually walking on the main street lane thingy and um, all the lanterns and stuff like that, they are decorated in um, winter style because we're actually walking in the winter Efteling as they call it and um, so yeah I don't know if you can, guys can see that there's Christmas trees and yeah I suck with my camera <laughs> Um, so yeah, everything is decorated in, in winter style and um, everything looks pretty and wintry and stuff like that. We're the first um, attraction that we're actually going to see is Symbolica, which is the newest attraction in the whole park. And um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a palace, so to say, it's what they call it, a palace. And it's just an amazing, it's really, really pretty. It, it's, they, the, the park has outdone itself with this with this attraction. It's just that beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if I can film inside of the attraction. I am gonna try though. I'm gonna try to show you just how amazing that that, 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 that attraction is because it's beautiful. Um, we're almost there. Just a little bit of more walking down Main Street as you can see. This place is just amazing. I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna do my best to show you that, that amazing attraction, so yeah. Yay, we made it, that, that thing right there. That's Symbolica, and that thing up in the air is the Pagoda. Something I never, never do, because I am <laughs> scared shitless of heights. So it's pretty, but I don't really do that. But that, that's where we're going. That's Symbolica, let me show you. It's just just so pretty. It's like I said, it's the castle, the castle of the king of the Efteling. So uh, let's just hope the line is not that long. Fingers crossed, you know. Fingers crossed. Lekker vol magie. Het heet hier niet voor niets het paleis der fantasie. Walking through the palace of fantasy. No, no, no. Obey the rules. Think on the regels. Transito, culto, fabulu, trage treden, open u!
when you're going to grab a little cake a bird on the table I mean chilling on the table Let's see if I can get a little closer look at that <laughs> everything's possible at the Efteling yes so we just had a little cake and we had some hot chocolate and um, I'm gonna insert a little picture that you can see that which little cake I had with the, the mug, the yellow mug. We actually got to take that mug home. So we've got two of those awesome mugs now for to use at home, so yay. Um, right now we're going to see um, to the next um, ride, which is the Droomvlucht, which is my all time favorite ride in this whole park. It's a fact, I cannot go to this park without um, actually going on this ride, which is just, a really magical ride with elves and all sorts of just the ride's just magic that's that's what it is and um, I'm going to switch cameras now so I can show you the the area that we're in right now because it's actually really pretty so hold on okay so we switch cameras it's a little busy right here right now but it's totally decked out in winter attire with nice little houses and a big campfire and that building right there that's where we're going that's the Dromvlucht there are a few other attractions right here for like that house is uh, the Villa Volta 
and yeah, it's, it's it's like this big inside swing attraction kind of thing. And right there is uh, Ravelein, which is a live action horse riding stunt show thingy. But we're not going to visit that today. But we are going right over there. Ooh, that fire is really hot. So yeah, let's go. Ta -ta 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 this thing is just really magical. Um, in the arch, you can see all those light bulbs, ball thingies. They actually go up and down and move around. It's like fairies and elves and stuff like that are moving them around, but you cannot see them. The, the balls just go by themselves. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, oh, it's only a 10 minute wait. That's really nice. So I'm going to check back with you when I'm actually in the ride. So yeah, see you then. So guys, I'm going to take you to the biggest attraction in the Efteling, and that's that. 
His name, I, his name is Hollebolle Gijs. And as you can see, he's got a really big mouth. Like there. And what you do, his little buddy is calling for him. Because Hollebolle Gijs, he's hungry. So the male is going to show you how this works. So. And then he says, thank you. Yes. And then he farts. Because why not? And then he's hungry again. And then you go like this and then. Yes. Biggest attraction in the Efteling. I tell you. Alright guys, so now we had Droomvrucht. I showed you who Hollebolle Gijs is. And now we're actually going to go into the Spookjesbos, which roughly translates to fairy tale forest. And it starts right there. That's the sign of the fairy tale forest. So we're going in and I'm not going to make a little video about it. I'm just going to make a few pictures for you so you can see what it's all about. And then I'm going to make a little picture montage for you. So you can see what uh, the, the Spookjesbos or fairy tale forest is all about. So enjoy the little montage. By the way, uh, what the, the text says is like Grandpa Gijs uh, lays here and uh, even in death he's still hungry. I don't think he says anything. He's dead, so yeah, I, I, okay, I get it, I get it. It's a burp. It's a big burp. It's a really, really, really big burp with a hat and a scarf. Big, 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 big burp. A look at him. He is fancy. He's winterproof. Awesome little burp. So we've just finished um, doing the fairy tale forest, and we're actually heading towards the thrill rides. Um, there are a few of them here. Um, we've got, for example, the Baron, um, the Python, the Vliegende Hollander, um, Joris and the Draak, and we are actually going to do um, the Vliegende Hollander, which translates to the Flying Dutchman. 
And it's a dark ride, a water ride, splash, roller coaster kind of contraption. <laughs> and um, when you compare all the, uh, the, the thrill rides that are in this park, yeah, the Flying Dutchman is my favorite. So um, we're heading there right now, hoping that um, the line isn't too long, but I don't think it is because it's really easy going. There's not a lot of people in the park at the moment because it's Wednesday for one and uh, most people are still kind of celebrating uh, Santa Claus, which was yesterday and um, other people just need to go to work because yeah, some people do work on Wednesdays. Um, so, uh, yeah, I am going to um, check back with you when we are actually at the Flying Dutchman, which is still a little bit of a walk, so yeah. Too bad, we just arrived at the Flying Dutchman and it's closed. That sucks. It sucks a lot. So, yeah, I think we're going to Joris in the Draak then. Because Joris in the Draak is right there. It's a wooden roller coaster ride. And just a quick show of... Ha! There's another one. In between the trees, that's a python. Which is going to close in a few weeks, I believe. But um, yeah, it's just a standard two loop corkscrew roller coaster thing that's been here for ages. But that one, that one's awesome. That's a really, really big wooden roller coaster and it is fast as frick! So, um, I'm not going to be able to film the ride because I'm afraid I will lose my camera or my phone in this case. I don't want to do that. But this really is a shame because that one is totally my favorite. But it is closed! And there isn't even water in the pond because usually there's water in the pond. But uh, yeah, I guess even uh, thrill rides need their maintenance every once in a while. But luckily, the Euros in the Drag is still functional, so let's go do that. <laughs> 